Yes, uh, this evening we are looking at determining polarity of polarity of an electromagnet. Magnet, yes. An electromagnet is uh, a magnet made by use of electricity. Let's have a diagram in the first case. We shall have our magnetic material, the one we intend to make a magnet. Then let's have source of voltage from here. Here is the conductor from the positive terminal. Then let's see, let's wind it on the magnetic material. Magnetic material. Now here it passes behind, behind this material and it comes like this, passes behind again and it appears from here just like this, passes behind then you can see it from this end, passes behind then you bring it back, bring it back to the battery. Let's have our switch here. Switch it here. Now, <coughs> when we close this switch, we shall have allowed current to flow. And let's close it. When we close it, we shall have completed the circuit. Therefore, current will flow. This is current flow. This other shows flow of current. Flow of current. Current flows from positive terminal of the battery. Yeah, on this diagram we are not going to show the flow of current. So here it is. This I will show the flow of current. Now you want to know what polarity of the magnet will be at point W and what polarity of the magnet will be at point X. Good. Let's assume that these arrows indicate are the nails of our fingers assume that the arrows in case nails of fingers in brackets this must be right hand right hand let me show you next assume I will assume this piece of Marker, this marker is this magnetic material. Assume a piece of material, a piece of rod in your hand. Is a magnetic 
magnetic material. In this case, we are using uh, this marker. Now, do this. This is my right hand. Now, I have to stand in such a way that these fingernails are facing my chest. Let me bring it here. This one is acting as a magnetic material, this magnetic material. I place it here like this, and my fingernails appear as the arrows. By all means, this thumb has to point the other side. I come again. I get this material, assuming it is a magnetic material, place it in my right hand. And I have to make sure these ladies face my chest. And when I face my chest, now I can see my fingernails. I've got to see my fingernails. This thumb must face wherever it faces. Because if my fingernails are like this, it has to face this side. Just like this. So these arrows coming down, are, these arrows coming down are indicated by the nails of my fingers. Then the wires here, these wires are indicated by these fingers, just like you see. Okay? Perfect. Now, where this finger points becomes a nose pole. Automatically, this tells us that X will be a nose pole, Y will be a south pole. X will be a nose pole. Let's have a second scenario whereby um, this uh, wire does not pass behind the magnetic material. Where it passes on top of the magnetic material the first time. We shall have our magnetic material here as usual. This time, our way, our conductor must pass on top here. It passes behind the other side, comes out like this, moves. Passes behind <coughs> just like that, <coughs> like that, sorry, like that, like that, like that. It comes out like this. Here we have our switch, just like we knew. Our switch is there, and we need to close it to allow current flow. Like I said, this other shows flow of current, and current flows from positive terminal. Now, let's, let's close the switch. Let's complete the circuit to allow current flow. Now, following the arrow, this will be up, 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 up. Let's assume this is um, P, this is K. Now the question is, what pole of the magnet will P become? And what pole of the magnet will K become? Like I said, that assume that the arrows indicate the nails, the nails of the fingers, and it must be right hand. 
assume a piece of roll into your hand is a magnetic material. Let's see what this one can be. We have this rod to indicate this magnetic material. Magnetic material. Good. It's ready here. Now, this, these arrows, we said they must indicate the nails of our fingers. And we must position ourselves such that these nails face our chest. Never we can see our fingernails. Here we do like this. This is magnetic material. So this is the way I have to position my fingernails such that I can see my fingers. I still have to see my fingers. And you see they are facing up, facing up, facing up, up. I'm using right hand. And automatically the thumb is pointing this side. And like in the first case, right now our nose pole is going to be this side. P is going to be the nose pole. And K automatically will be self pole. All the magnets. This is the only way you can determine the polarity of the magnet. And this magnet is electromagnet, the magnet made by use of electricity. Yes. We shall see how you can increase the strength of this magnet. But as of today, we wanted to see how you can determine the polarity of this magnet. Wonderful. Oh, you can reach me on. You like the video, you subscribe, you comment. If you have any questions, you ask. Our email is there. We can talk, we can chat. Thank you very much.